All right, guys, continuing uh, my illuminating uh, 40k tank. Uh, there's been a slight change of plan. I'm not going to be using uh, a Razorback for it. Uh, reason being, I was only planning on putting headlights in the Razorback uh, and then ultimately moving on to uh, fiber optics. But what I'm doing is I'm cutting out the middleman and I'm going to use a, a different model I'm currently working on uh, just for the example. But this time it will have. Uh, lights in it and uh, fiber optics so uh, first off we'll start off with my parts list uh, obviously I'll have a 9 volt square battery which I've uh, forgotten to pick up it's uh, downstairs I'll get that later so you've got the connector I have 3 millimeter white LED uh, a resistor switch couple of pieces of heat shrink and of course the battery that that's essentially the setup now in this what I'm actually working on here um, is a little project uh, for uh, the future games at Red Steel uh, but that's by the way um, basically what I've done I've taken my LED and my excuse the fumbling and my resistor Let's move them up and two wires basically these sort of wires and heat shrinked it up so that is this thing here that you're looking at this bulb if I turn it to the side can you see it there you go and the two wires coming off it which aren't connected to anything at the moment and all these strands uh, which will be poking up through the top move the camera so you can see it there you go they will be cooked flush obviously are going to be small light sources so I'm going to be using two LEDs in this one one is already in place as you can see which will there we go give a really satisfying light coming through there I've had it on and it's, it's amazingly bright and I will use a second LED like I say and what I will do is basically all of these fiber optic wires will be bunched up together like so and then I'll get the LED and with the heat shrink I'll heat shrink completely over the uh, bulb itself and all of the fiber optic wires so I can get this right will feed into the tube and butt up against the surface of the LED so when there's power running through it and the LED lights up all of the light will travel down all of the fiber optic wires and come out at the ends to a tiny pinpoint light in theory so what I'm going to do now off camera as you see very basic I've just drilled through in the various places Let's see if I can get this a bit better through the various places there you go appropriate drill size I think it's about 125 diameter wire, fiber optic, I'm not sure, I can't remember millimeters anyway uh, what was I saying, yeah, I've drilled through various points I think this, I've got six smaller light points on this one and I'm going to go off camera now, I'm going to join them all together I'm going to solder the resistor to the LED just like this one here the only difference is this one this is going to be an exposed light the LED in here will be just having the light in this uh, in the heat shrink and traveling up the fiber optics and uh, we'll see how it goes back in a sec okay guys so this is what I've done as you can see now I've uh, soldered and wired up a, a switch just coming from the uh, battery lead just move all the gobbins out of the way like so yeah quite simple so that gives me a nice easy on off now that I'm going to remove this all the while. So that leg coming off the switch then is going to the one leg of a... Actually, sorry, I'll start this the other way around. We've got the black lead, following the black lead, going to brown. As you see, it ends up at the LED on the one leg. And coming off the other leg of the LED, it's following it round to another leg of another LED. And then, of course, he's completing the circuit. He's going onto the red wire, then into the switch, and back to the power. Now, if I hold this still, you can see pretty much 
and then it's a bit of a, a tangle uh, but I've also got the fiber optics in place now now there's the main light and off the main light I've run another an LED and I've heat shrunk over the top of the LED and put in all the ends of the uh, fiber optics put a little bit of super glue on there stop them moving around as well and if I just turn it on you can see straight away where all the lights travel in up the fiber optics now I've velcroed the bottom of this so if I do this properly I can just push that battery into place now all these are sticking out all over the place as you can see um, but what I'm going to do I'm going to put all these tight which is what I did early bear with me guys because uh, there's a few of them I've got six uh, individual points of light well seven if you count the main headlight but as you can see as I'm pulling the wire all the excess wire through which is deliberate I just to make sure I didn't run out of anything as I was doing it with this one Let's see one at the back which is being stubborn you have to be careful not to kink this stuff as well because an actual bend or rather at a right angle kink would actually prevent the light from flowing there we go as you can see that's tidied that up now and now and I can always flip the switch around this way there you go, just for easy access and as you see we've got all sorts of wires all over the place now so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly trim these and I'll be back ok guys, done all the trimming it's all uh, relatively neat now as you can see I left that a little bit of play in there because when I come to paint this model I can just whip those back out and uh, paint the model up and then put them all back in anyway I think it's time for a bit of a reveal, so let's see how it's worked. And there you go. Now, I have quite strong light in here. As you can see, the uh, main light is, well, it's beaming lovely. And what I'm going to do now is just lower the light a, lo a little bit. Just bear me one second, guys. We'll try it in the dark first. As you can see my camera is having a hell's game trying to focus so yeah that's a bit of an epic fail so we'll just turn the light back on now focus please there we go you can see it better now um, yeah I'm liking it really annoyed my LEDs haven't come because I would have used a different color for these small spot areas but through my impatience I wanted to see if uh, I could get it working okay and I'm really pleased with the way it's come out so there you have it really guys that is it as simple as it is nothing more complex they are really quite bright these lights um, although it might not seem it so yeah once again there's the setup very simple it's a loop. Imagine a loop. I mean, uh, you'll have to bear in with me because I don't know a diddly squat about electronics, so I'll explain it the way I understand it. You got your power basically coming from either plus or minus, positive or negative. I'm not sure which one. So the one wire is coming off, connecting to the one leg. A wire coming off from the other leg of the LED, going to the leg of another LED, and vice versa. So you just form a daisy chain and breaking the daisy chain with a switch in the middle and that's essentially it that is it guys nothing more complex than that and all this will fit in lovely on my little project that I'm working on so just as a reminder things you will need switches although not essential battery clips very cheap Three millimeter uh, I chose white LEDs. Um, I'll try to put all of the specifics for the electronics of the LED and the resistors in the description. And of course, 
resistors. Everything is so cheap to do it. Oh, and of course, some heat shrink because, as like I said earlier, there's a lot of heat shrinking and tidying up that you have to do. Don't forget, you will need a soldering iron. So, yeah, I hope that's been some help to you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing this turret on the rest of my uh, little project. It's a super heavy project that I'm working on. Another uh, unusual Blood Angels tank. But I thought, why not add a bit of light into the turret? So, comments, feedback are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks.